Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called a Tropical Dewita. Now, it is a variation of a margarita, but is it a function of looks over taste or taste over looks? Or will it be both put together really, really well? Let's find out. Now, this is a simple five ingredient cocktail that looks like on the surface, the ingredients may not work together, but I have a sneaky suspicion they will. So, the first thing we need to do is grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a fantastic looking rocks glass. And we're going to rim the glass by cutting the lime in half and then using salt to rim the glass halfway around. Beautiful. Now put that off to the side. And again, I only uh, do half the glass. This means anybody drinking the glass who likes salt has salt and those who don't like the salt don't have the salt thinking ahead. Anyways, the next thing we're going to do is grab our shaking glass. And what we'll do is we will squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Perfect. The next thing you're going to use is a little bit of pineapple juice. And you just want to make sure you get something that has no extra sweetness adding in it because all of our ingredients together are going to add that sweetness. But we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Awesome. Now your third ingredient is the tequila of your choice. Now you could use a Reposado tequila, you could use an Anejo tequila. That'll give you really broad flavors. However, I'm using Espolón a Blanco tequila or silver tequila, depending on whatever you want to call it. And we're going to use a full two ounces or 60 milliliters. Awesome. We're part way there. So slap that on top like so. Make sure to fill your glass fully with some ice, just like so. Ha ha! It didn't hit the ground, which is good. No wastage. So make sure you got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand pineapples. And just put this off to the side for a minute. And what you're gonna do is grab your glass. We're going to fill this with a little bit of uh, ice right here, like so. And what we will do is then we will first turn to your blue curacao. And for this, we are going to directly pour half an ounce or 30 milliliters. Let's get that right. It's half an ounce, which is actually 15 mils directly on top. All right, absolutely perfect. What we're going to do next is now grab your Hawthorne strainer and fine strainer just to keep out any ice chunks and we'll just pour them on top like so. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna finish this off with some Mountain Dew. I know it seems counterintuitive, but hey, Let's see how it actually turns out. And we'll just put about two ounces or 60 mils on top. Oh, she does look pretty. Look at that beautiful blue aquamarine green. And you know what? We're just gonna grab your spoon, give it a little bit of a stir just to incorporate everything like so. And what we'll do is we will garnish this with a pineapple frond and a lime wheel. And this is your tropical Dorita. Let's see how it smells. It smells really, really good. You got the Mountain Dew, you get a little bit of tequila and citrus notes. Mm, really good without the salt. The tequila is there, the Mountain Dew is there. You get a little bit of the blue curacao and you get those pineapple notes, but let's try it with salt. I prefer it without the salt. Um, really good, really, really pretty to look at. What I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day now.